In this video, I will cover everything you need to know to write the context of your study for your research paper, thesis, dissertation, or research project. Have you ever struggled to write the context of the study or wondered why it is even necessary in the first place? If so, stay with me. In this video, I will provide you with a detailed guideline on how to write the context of this study with several examples from my past studies. The context of research would influence every aspect of a research project. And this is very important in social sciences because context impacts people's perceptions, attitudes, and behavior. For example, a person who is tasting a new food in a harsh environment might perceive the food as tasting bad and might not like it in the future. But the same experiment in a pleasant and relaxing environment might result differently, and the person might perceive the food as tasting good and enjoy it. So context matters, and the research and its results needs to be seen from the lens of that context. You need to interpret the results and generalize the findings in the context of the study. This is why you need to explain where the research is taking place. And the factors and attributes of the context that need to be discussed depend on the topic of your research. The context of the study usually is reported in the introduction section of your research work. Generally speaking, in many social sciences studies, geographical, physical, historical, social, political, economic, religious, institutional, and cultural settings, as well as time of the study, may impact the research process and the results of the study. So the relevant attributes need to be discussed in details. For example, in terms of geographical location, you need to explain what are the attributes of these geographical location that may impact your research and the results of this study. You may also discuss why this context is unique and why conducting research in this context is important, of course, from the lens of your research. Indeed, you need to use this opportunity to justify why conducting your study in this context contributes to the body of knowledge and literature. Also, you can address the physical setting of the context. For example, whether the context of your study is a classroom, shopping mall, hotel, hospital, organization, or maybe an online platform. Be specific and detailed by explaining the characteristics of the settings using a top-down approach. For example, if it's an organization or a company, you may discuss the sector, industry, and business of the organization. You can provide some information about the size of the organization, its structure, and maybe financial performance if relevant. In writing the context of research, always ask yourself, may this aspect of the context influence the process of results of my research? If the answer is yes, then it's relevant and should be addressed. Be careful in providing too much details. Your explanation shouldn't be too specific and too detailed because this may impact the generalizability of your findings too much. For example, for your study, you may collect data from three, four, five, or six five-star hotels in Sydney, Australia. In this case, if your study aims to generalize the findings, for example, you want to test some hypothesis and you want to generalize the findings to the population to all five-star hotels in Sydney or five-star hotels in Australia, then in this case, you can write generally about five-star hotels in Sydney or Australia in the context of your research. You don't need to narrow down the scope of the study too much and present your work as a study only on those three or four specific hotels that you are collecting your data from. However, if selecting these three hotels or four hotels are very important and relevant, or for example, if it's a case study or you are conducting a qualitative research and you don't aim to generalize the findings, in these cases, you may provide the information specifically about those three or four hotels that you are collecting data from in detail as the context of your study. You may also discuss the social and community context of your research. Explain about the settings in which people live and work and the relationships between people as well as the connections between them and institutions in terms of social, religious, cultural, and occupational. If it's an organization, what are the settings that an organization operates in and the relationships between that organization and other stakeholders such as other organizations, government, community, and so on. Let me show you one of my papers as an example. You can find the link to this paper in the description below. This paper has been published in Nursing Ethics and the topic is Moral Distress Among Iranian Nurses. This is what we provided to explain and justify the context of the study. We have stated that research has shown that context and culture play an essential role in ethical dilemmas and moral distress. This makes each country a unique case to study. 
As you can see, we clearly stated that context matters. Then we introduce Iran as a unique context for this research. This study introduces Iran as an Islamic context that has specific cultural and ethical values and a healthcare system that all differ from those of other countries. So we mentioned what are the main factors that make this context unique and provided the direct code to support the importance of these factors in this specific context means Iran. Then we provided relevant information about religion, religious beliefs, and politics all from the lens of the study. As you can see in this paragraph, we explain about the religion and religious beliefs in Iran and how they impacted the healthcare system in the scope of the study. Please keep this in mind that you don't need to provide the detail about the religious beliefs for any topic or any research study that you are conducting. In this study, we provided this information because it was relevant to our topic and we explained how these characteristics would impact our study. We also discussed the impact of the Iran-Iraq war and the U.S. political sanctions against Iran on the healthcare system. We discussed this only because it's relevant to this topic. As you can see, we explained that after the revolution, Iran faced challenges in the healthcare system due to the eight-year war and the U.S. and U.N. sanctions, which resulted in limited resources. Specifically, Iran experienced shortages of drugs and medicine for serious illnesses and was unable to purchase essential medical equipment from Western countries. Then we stated that the shortage and limitation of resources increased the pressure on nurses and negatively impacted on their efficiency and effectiveness, which in turn led to more ethical dilemmas. This clearly shows why we provided detailed information about the war and sanctions in this study, because it led to shortage of resources, and as a result, more pressure on nurses and finally contributed to their ethical dilemmas. Next, we provided further information about the work environment and organizational culture in the healthcare setting in Iran, and again, linked them to the topic of research, means nurses' moral distress. As you can see, we have highlighted different organizational and cultural issues for nurses, such as ambiguity of job description, heavy workloads, not being engaged in policy development and governance, as well as the authority of GPs and gender discrimination, which all contribute to nurses' moral distress. And finally, we shed light on the lack of addressing moral distress in the nursing curriculum in this context and its impact on the problem in this study. Now, after reading all these details, as a reader of this article, you should have a better understanding about the context of this study and the importance of the topic in this context. This is how you should write the context of your study. As another example, see this study on the relationships between social networking sites use, money attitude, and online compulsive buying among young adults in Malaysia. This paper has been published in Young Consumers. So the title of the paper shows that we need to explain social networking sites use as well as money attitude and online compulsive buying of young adults in the context of Malaysia. First, we clearly stated that for this study, Malaysia seems to offer a good setting as the country is made up of a rather youthful population. This means we highlighted the relevance of conducting this study in Malaysia due to its young population. Then we provided some statistics to support our claim and linked the discussion to youth poor financial management, again supported with evidence and statistics. As you can see, this part provides relevant information on money attitude and compulsive buying of youth in Malaysia. Finally, we explain youth social networking site use in the context of Malaysia. As you can see, the information we provided is relevant to the topic, and while it helps readers understand the context of the study, it highlights the importance of conducting this study in this specific context. Another aspect that can be discussed in the context of the study is the time of the study, of course, if it's relevant. For example, the COVID-19 pandemic created a new setting, a new context, which was unique and can be studied in different fields or different disciplines. Another example is the global financial crisis that impacted the economies and financial markets at the global level. If the time of the research may impact the research and results, you should discuss how and why you expect such impact. This makes your study more interesting and also highlights the contribution of your research as well. For example, in one of our studies on the effect of organizational support and pay on nurses' retention during COVID-19 pandemic in Iran, we explain how the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic impacted nurses' working conditions. This is relevant as it shows why studying nurses' retention, which is the topic of this study, is important in this specific context, means the COVID-19 pandemic in Iran.
As I mentioned earlier and in other videos, when you write the context of your research, always ask yourself this question. Is this information that I'm providing relevant to my topic? If the aspect you are discussing in the context of your study potentially affect the process or results of your research, it is important to include it in the section addressing the context of this study. Thank you very much for watching this video. I provided the link to the papers that I use as examples in the description of this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my future research and publication related videos.